Hello everyone, welcome back everyone to the F121 My Team Career Mode. Last episode, we didn't do so well, forgot to get a thumbnail, sucked in the race, and it just gave up everything else. So once again, I hope you all have a great Friday. We got lots of stuff in the works. We'll get to that stuff in a second, but we'll get you a look at the standings where 10 place with no points. So Shota Perez is in first, Max for Stanford, Lewis Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo, and... Charles is in the top five on points, while there's still a lot from 14th all the way to 22nd that has not scored, we haven't scored, and our teammate hasn't even scored as well. We also give you the vehicle conformance, and the vehicle conformance capacity. So we have past Williams and Haas, we're getting back up there, so that's that. We also got upgrades coming in that we have that as well coming in. We have 1,330 resource points, and I feel like we need, but we can't do anything till May for those any upgrades, so, yeah, so is there anything that we can do while we're here? That sucks nothing on this one either. Anything we can do, we have that coming in within two days, ten days for that upgrade, and that's about it. Um, is there anything we can do? Alright, there's no upgrades we can do. That sucks. Okay, I think the only thing we do is just move on and see. Alright, the drive thanks, Phil. Ah, crap. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell a team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. Well, bonk. Well, that's crap. Alright, what failed? Oh, that one came in, so that upgrade passed, so... Oh, good. So we can actually get some more upgrades. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So let's. Oh yeah, this one failed. You gotta be kidding me. All right, so we won't be in till get that one. So go ahead and get that one in. So it'll come in within eight days. Any upgrades that we can do? We got that coming in seven days. If it done fell. Um, what else? Oh, good. This upgrade came in. So. Oh, wow. So, 525 resource points. Don't mind if I do. Is there anything else we can do here? 550 resource points for that. But the percentage is like 38% chance of failing. And there's nothing else we can do on over here. What about these? Nope, nothing we can't do over here. And this is only 303 worse, 0.40% chance of failing. Why not? We'll give it a try. And then this is 500, but we don't have enough for any of those. So, we're getting up there. Also, while we're here, we we'll might as well get some, some more upgrades while we're here. Build time, $1.5 million. So, let's try to... Let's just try to get some upgrades when we can here. So, this is... Oh, uh, that's not what I want. That's 1.6 million. I want to try to get cheap, cheap upgrades for right now. This is 1.2 million. The build time is 1.5 million. By May 11th, we'll have that upgrade. Let's see. Is there any others that we can get while we're here? So this is 1.2 million as well. So that would almost take out about of our own money on that one. 1.2, 1 million for our second driver. Definitely, we can definitely probably get, we could probably get that, but, and we can't do nothing with that. Bill time. Okay, so this is only one million, so let's get that upgrade. All right, so we are now broke. So we got $220,000 left in the bank. Okay, we got all that taken care of, so we're going to the Spain, Spain Grand Prix. Again, if you're new, make sure you hit the red subscribe button. And anyway, let's go on to it. Race number four of Spain. Let's hop on to it. Let's have yours. Oh, great. It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Hopefully. It looks like your rival bested you today, doesn't it? Appreciate your time. <sighs> Welcome along then, 
led to what promises to be another fascinating Spanish Grand Prix. A race which saw Max Verstappen win on his first ever appearance with the Red Bull team in 2016. This after the dramatic coming together of Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg on the first lap. Will we see more moments for the scrapbook here today? The circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia, a track that will certainly force the drivers to push themselves. It consists of a very impressive main straight going into turn one. It's a straight that also offers a DRS zone, so it's likely to be a hot spot for overtakes. Now, Anthony Davidson, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today for the midfield teams, all trying to put some pressure on or disrupting things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you got your own race to run. I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut while leaving the other one out there longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into an error. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Daniel Ricciardo and Sainz, Leclerc, Norris, Lee and Pierre Gasly, Sonoda, Vettel, Fernando Alonso and Stroll, Ocon, Raikkonen, George Russell and Robert Schwartzman, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Well, hello everyone. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so a qualifying P9, good qualifying for me. Definitely, we definitely got better, so it's definitely going to take that, so... And it looks like we're going to have a one-stopper. So, one-stopper. Let me get some of this fuel out. There we go. So, one-stopper from soft to mediums. We'll take that. It's been cloudy off and on. Look like some little bit of rain with it, too. So, that's what it feels like it's going to be. So, here we go. Here goes Numb. talk about that last incident. Let's just try to have one good normal race for us. That's all we want to have is just one good normal race. We've got 16 laps to go left in this. We've got plenty of time to try to get up there. we got plenty of time. Alright, again, we're not going to talk about that incident, too. Just like I said, we're not going to talk about it. Thank goodness they have a thing on here. But it's like we said, we just want to try to have a good normal here. Oh, we got trouble! Uh oh! We got a problem! We got a problem! I think somebody is blowing up. Some information on Alonso, the out of the race. 
Okay, Fernando's out of the race now. Okay, we'll be seeing you then. I'm trying to get up there, trying to get around for 12th place. They can get around, they can get some of this DRS, may hope we can catch up to them, hopefully. Again, we're not going to talk about that. Like I say again, we're not going to talk about that. I'm not used to playing F1 games that often, so that's why you see me do that all the time. I hate doing that to you all, but that's the only way I'm going to have to learn. So... Oh! I just heard the crowd going, oh, I think someone else is crapping up. Who is it? Well, our teammates in 15th. I want to try to get around for 12th place. Pit windows lap 6 through lap 8. Pit now regression would be 21st. I want to try to get around Stroll. Hey, Stroll, get back here. Let's see how our tires are. Uh, could, be, could be worse. I think somebody else is crapping up. Because I heard the crowd going, oh. When I hear that, it's like, it almost feels like somebody's blowing up or doing something. And I almost crapped up that corner. Ah, uh, come on, car. Well, crap, we just lost straw almost. Yeah, we... Man, we would have DNS, but... DRS, but nope. I don't know, it almost reminds me this car still sucks. Well, thank you. I think I already done lost tire grip all word. Okay. Oh, there's some debris there. I almost hit it. Oh, we got a problem. I think someone's dying or something. Something's going on. I think somebody just lost a wing or something. That's right. Hold him on. Hold him. Hold him. Not holding me up. Yeah, he's lost the front wing. Try to get around him. Yeah, you lost the front wing. I can see that. I try to. Alright, I'm pinned this time. These tires are old and crumpet like me. Slow down. There we go. Oh, somebody else has got problems. 
What the crap is going on here with these with this race? Yeah, I wish they would put these in NASCAR video games. Two point oh. There we go, new fresh tires. Now I just need to go try to catch up to everybody else. That's all I need to do now is try to catch up to everybody else. Sacred us back to 12th place. Right now, the gap from 10th place is 6 seconds. Man, I would just love to get into the points. I would just love for a safety car to come out. I just love a safety car, please. What the? Oh, we got more drivers pitting. P11. We're just one spot away from getting into the points. Come on. One spot in the way from getting into the points. We're just like 3.1 seconds away. That's fine, you all. How about you all? One, how about one or two of you at least have to come down pit road for problems? I'm trying to get up there. I'm trying. Oh man, I ended up getting a real good corner there. Oh man, come on, baby. Come on, 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 come on. Nobody pit that time. Keep managing your tires. Manage your tires. Okay. We're closing on 10th place. We're coming. We are coming, boys. We're coming. Uh oh, we're coming. Not yet. I ain't making that move right there. I just need to stay close to him. He's got no DRS, I do. I'm trying, man. We're closing. We're closing. We're coming. We're coming.
Man, I come so close, and every time I try to, I'm right there. Lap 14. We're getting there. We're trying. I am right. Oh, I almost had him. Oh, I'm getting this 10th place. I'm finishing in 10th. I'm getting him. Alright boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, white flag. Man, that's got to hurt. Oh, man. One spot short. Dang. P11, one spot short. Robert Schwartzman, driver of the day. But still, one spot short. It's real team effort, which has paid off in spades. A great victory here at the Spanish Grand Prix. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. That's got to hurt, being one spot short of points. Man, that's got to hurt. Man, one spot short just to get points. Man, that's... That's got to hurt. Well, we give you the finishing results. Lewis Hamilton won the race. Vaptory Baltas, Max Verstappen, and Control Sites, and Daniel were called the top five. With... Lando, Perez, Gasly, Ventil, and Yuki Tsunoda. Man, we were just one spot short. Man, that's got to stink, only being one spot short from one point. Wow. And our teammate finished in 14th. Good run for him, for JG Autosports. 11th and 14th. We tried. I tried to get that top 10. I tried just one spot short. 
and we'll look at everybody else and and the only driver that Alonso is the only one that DNF. It. Still, that sucks. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that episode. So next one we'll go to the Monaco. We got lots of stuff. I'll be going to the Monaco Grand Prix next time. And we get you to look at the standings and everything else real quick. Um, we haven't scored no points. We came close to get one point. And looks like we did get some more drivers that scored. So fit now we have 15th all the way from 22nd hasn't scored. I haven't even scored yet. We close. Came close to get one point. We were close, but that's that. And then also in the next episode we'll have to figure out new sponsorship in the next episode. So we'll figure that out on the next one. And also we'll look at the vehicle performance real quick. And we're still we got upgrades coming, so by the next episode, we'll have definitely have some bunch of upgrades. So once again, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. We got lots of stuff in the next episode for the Monaco Grand Prix. So I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much, you all, for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of your Friday and weekend. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I will see you all on Monday with a new video. Take care, everybody.